Hi guys. I do like to finish what I start. And uh, one of the things, it's too bright. Sorry. Okay, so I wanted to come on here today um, and check in because, well, I wanna do some things differently. So I've been taking kind of a pause, like a lot of the content that I've put up, um, I made really quickly and was just trying a million different things. And now, you know, I'm taking some time to review it and to process it and understand uh, the analytics and what's working and what's not so that I can make the best possible channel that I can. I like to finish what I start and one of the things that I have not finished and I don't think I've really explicitly talked about is my cookbook. Well, it's a cookbook and lifestyle guide and it's called hashtag allergic to everything. That is um, where allergic to everything, hashtag allergic to everything comes from is this cookbook. Initially it was just a hashtag I was using when I was miserable but uh, it turned into a cookbook and lifestyle guide and it's over 200 pages and it's got hundreds of recipes and a whole guide on navigating um, the journey of finding out you have multiple food allergies because it's super tricky uncharted water and there's not a book like it on the market, I swear. Um, and I have been saying that for years and I've, I uh, ended up putting it on Kickstarter which maybe I've mentioned and I raised 97% of my goal, which was over $31,000. And I didn't get a penny of it uh, because I did not hit my target goal of $33,111 because I'm superstitious and weird. But uh, the reason I went to Kickstarter in the first place was because I, um, I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, and one of my weaknesses is editing my own work. So, I wanted to be able to hire an editor and I wanted somebody who could really help me bring it to the next level and catch all my mistakes and I wanted it to be perfect. But here's the thing, I can't afford to pay an editor because you know why? I wanna buy a house. So there's that. You know, same thing when it comes to painting, I, I come back to it day after day or or sometimes after a week and tweak things. So I, I'm gonna take that approach here. And, but more importantly, this morning I woke up, <laughs> we're outside right now so that Katie can get some exercise. I already uh, did my, my workout this morning, so, but she's, I don't know, she's lounging. But people keep asking for this cookbook and it's been so important to me and I can't even describe to you how hard I worked. I really worked myself into the ground when I did the Kickstarter. I worked on that project for, oh, I think it was like 16 months, um, nonstop. And even the people at Kickstarter could not believe how, how much I was able to raise. Um, and a lot of people wanted me to relaunch, but I, I had a bit of a breakdown, you know, afterwards because it was so heart-wrenching. I don't know how to explain it. You get so close and then nada, zilch. Um, what I do get is a page that will live on forever. I'll link it below for you uh, so that you can see. Um, positives. All the people that I met doing that project, all these strangers who wanted to back the cookbook, they still want the cookbook. I still want to make the cookbook. So... In my 35 year old life, I'm gonna be wise, I'm gonna use my wisdom, and I'm gonna say, guess what? It's not gonna be perfect. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, what it does need to be is out there for you. So, priority number one, I mean, the cookbook's written. So, really, I'm going through right now. I started this morning just updating it a little bit. Um, I've chosen how I'm gonna publish it. I don't know if I'm gonna do a pre-sale or a drop ship, but that's something I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna be self-publishing it. Um, anyway, so I'm going through, I'm making the final edits, and I'm gonna make those decisions, and you will hear more about it on this platform. Um, but I just wanted you to know sort of what's going on and why 
my content schedules are changing. So my plan, I think, is to post. Um, right now, honest to God, I'm trying to figure out with the analytics what, what the best day is for me to post. I had been posting on Thursdays, and now I'm trying Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'm just playing around with it. But I want you to know that I'm putting up new vlogs every week, every single week, even if it's just like this, telling you what's going on. Um, because I know that's important for growth over time. And I have 23 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. And sad to see you go, those of you who've been dropping off because it's real strange when it keeps saying you have new people but the number doesn't change. So I wish it would tell you like when you lose people. I wish I knew like which videos made you just be like, oh, you know, but anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this cookbook at priority number one for this summer. I like to use my teaching summers for my entrepreneurial endeavors, which also includes this. So um, I'm also gonna try to focus a little bit more on my video topics. Some of my very wise students have given me the same feedback and conclusions that I've come to myself when I'm editing these is that I just go on tangents. So I'm gonna try, I'm not necessarily gonna, I'm never gonna be scripted, okay, because I just don't do scripts. I can just talk to the camera. That's natural and easy for me. But I do need um, a bullet point or two. This is the same way I actually do my lesson plans in class. So this was today's little pointers, which we have gotten through. I will link below in the description the link to the Kickstarter page, so you can check that out if you're curious. I will also link um, more information about the cookbook on my website. It is going to be spiral bound, and I believe it's also gonna be an ebook, but I am going to do a little bit of market research with my, um, with my cookbook supporters, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it's gonna end up. And anyway, I'll give you any information I have down below. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, you can hit the little bell to get alerts every time a new video is posted. Please leave a comment below. And you could type the word food allergies or you could list out the food allergies you have. Totally up to you. I will list my food allergies in the description too. Happy month are we in? Happy June. Thanks for helping me stay sane during quarantine. Honest to God, talking to this camera is like really the only interaction because Katie never talks back to me. Look at her. She's totally free to run and this is what she does. My kind of girl. All right. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. See you guys next week, if not before. Welcome to Katie and I's daily walk. for now.